My broad research interest is in the space of organization of technology and the impact of technology interventions in business and society. This broad research interest translates into three specific research areas or focus areas that I believe are salient to this part of the world or emerging markets. The first is technology sourcing. Traditionally, Indian firms have been uh, low cost providers of technology services, uh, especially for transaction intensive uh, services uh, to companies in the West. But over the last decade or so, outsourcing has transitioned from being a cost saving tool for transaction intensive processes to being a key strategic, uh, to bringing in key strategic value into the firm and driving the competitive success of firms. As outsourcing has made this transition, service providers too must make the transition in their resources, in the capabilities that they must invest in. I am very interested in studying this transition of service providers, be it third party service providers or the captive units of multinational corporations in this part of the world. I am interested in understanding how firms can make this transition, what governance mechanisms must they invest in, what capabilities must they put in place uh, to make this transition from being low cost service providers to being innovators and key drivers of value in firms value chains. The second area of interest is a technology innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, as a, a colleague of mine and I find that over 86% of the patents that are filed with the Indian Patent Office belong to multinational firms. This raises a couple of questions. The first question of course is are Indian firms not innovating? Uh, does the patent output reflect the limited innovative ability of uh, Indian firms or does it reflect the fact that Indian firms are innovating but that output is not being captured by patents? I am interested in studying the innovation dimension of Indian firms, trying and understanding uh, what is the uh, kind of intellectual property that is being created in Indian firms and how are Indian firms protecting this intellectual property. A related area is entrepreneurship. The same study we find that uh, many entrepreneurs in India are actually products of multinational firms and the kind of entrepreneurial ventures that they create is correlated with their experience in the multinational firms. Uh, for instance, these individuals are not creating products or science-based startups. They are creating innovations and in business models and business processes in new ways of service delivery for emerging markets. Uh, therefore, I am interested in studying what is the contribution of MNCs uh, to the startup landscape in India. What is it that these individuals pick up in their experience uh, at the MNCs? Also, what can we do to foster more science-based startups which are create large market value for this part of the world? Those are all some of my interests in innovation and entrepreneurship. And last but not the least, I am also very interested in studying how technology can transform societies and uh, the urban landscape of uh, India. We are working with, with the impact assessment partner. When I say we, I mean the center that I had. I had a technology research center here, which is the impact assessment partner for the local Telangana government. We are working on understanding the impact of technology interventions in the classroom, in the education sector in general, uh, and understanding how technology can transform learning processes and teaching processes uh, and uh, education in a fundamental way. Uh, in a related area, we are uh, trying to understand what must the government do in terms of complementing these investments in physical infrastructure that it is making. The technology must be complemented with investments in social infrastructure, in skilling, uh, in transforming education uh, policies itself. So what are some of these investments that are complementary to the technology that must be made so that in the value of technology can be realized to its fullest potential. Uh, as part of that, we are also working to understand uh, the impact of the national digital literacy mission of the government of India, trying and understanding what about the mission is working, what is not working, and how can the government retool this particular initiative uh, so as to realize uh, the full impacts of digitization.